Hey everyone, Laura with my very own quilt shop here again. Um, getting some questions on using the zero center tape measure. So I thought it would be best to just do a follow-up video, um, maybe clarify some things. So I did a video a couple days ago on using the zero center tape measure to keep my quilt tops straight. Um, and I did use it with this quilt. So um, the things I wanna clarify, um, the tape measure is floating. Now in my initial video, um, this cool top's small enough, I can reach, I can hold the zero in place at its mark, gently get the tape measure over to each edge without knocking things off kilter. Um, in a larger quilt, obviously you can't reach that far. So what I've done to show you what I would do with a larger quilt is I've pinned the tape measure in place. Yes, it can still move, but we're not gonna be pulling it that hard. We're just gonna gently, you know, ease it out to wherever we're, we're going. A large quilt, you could be way out here. I've also, since the last video, now basted these sides down. So you, it looks like I'm a little off, but I'm not because I do my measurement before I baste. And then after I baste, I remove the tape measure and if I have pins in, take it out. And the tape measure doesn't come back out until I've advanced the quilt for the next pass. Now, one other thing, this wasn't really a question yet. Um, I think I might have had one question, I'm not sure. But I addressed it in the comments. So let's say, let's say we were off, right? Like this top is pretty straight. But let's just say when we measured before we basted that... We were supposed to be here, but our top is way out here. And like, this is my mark, like I'm a quarter-ish, three-eighths of an inch off. Well, then what I would do is I would ease it in to where I need it to be. And then again, I would pin the top in place and then baste it in place and then remove the pin um, so that I don't, you know, run over it with the quilting machine. So it's a multi-step process. I measure before I baste, get it centered. This one didn't need any easing, but if it did, that's where I would, you know, scooch it, scooch it in or out, get a pin in place to hold it until I could baste it in place um, where it would be straight. And then you can always double check after you baste, keeping in mind it's gonna, like we saw on this, it's not, it's it's in a little further because we've now basted it. So it's pulled it just, just a hair, which is normal. Um, but it, it's easy enough to pin. I do use the same pins as I use for the leaders to just run a pin up and over and then back down in to hold. And you can use as many as you need. If you want to put more pins across on a very large quilt to keep it in place, um, we do what we have to do with these machines. We don't have a bar that has a tape measure um, or a bar that we can mount a tape measure. So this is what I'm using um, I've only done one fairly large quilt so far, as I've mentioned a number of times, I'm pretty new at this. And the tape measure really, really helped me keep that straight as I kept going. I think it was about 80 inches wide. This one's only 40-ish, so that's why I was not pinning it in place. I was simply just kind of feeling it and keeping, I could clearly see it was still in the center. So I hope that clears things up for some of the um, questions that I've gotten as to um, what happens with the tape measure. Like now it's off, I put it back on for this video, but once I'm centered and basted, it's off, I'm quilting, it's not in the way, and it just doesn't come back out until I advance for the next pass. And then I do my measurements before I baste just to make sure I'm staying nice and straight with my quilt. Hope that clears things up. Thanks for watching.